I take full responsibility for it. I saw things this afternoon that I haven't seen before uh, from the guys, so um, that's my responsibility to make sure they're right. We aren't right today. You know, their margin for error when they turn it over like two or three times is just greater than any other team. And I said, when they turn over two or three, they can still win. How about five? Uh, five? No. No, it turns, oh, it turns oh. out five turnovers. You think that might be too many? You might not win the football game. Almost everything that could go wrong for the Chiefs went wrong yesterday. Penalties, turnovers, mistakes, miscues. Yes, everything misfired. Wasn't good enough. Obviously the turnovers, but just in the execution in general. They do a good job against us with their defense, but we got to execute at a high enough level, and we, we clearly haven't done it in the two games we played against them. A game of miscues by the Chiefs had opportunities and just did not get the job done. It's a refocus game. It's a refocus on the season, hit the reset button. That'll be the last play of the game. Denver 24, Kansas City 9. Each year they have one of these games. That's why I'm not overly concerned about it because they use these games, these mech games, and they turn them around and they find ways to get revenge the following week. I mean, after that Titans loss, they didn't lose another game. They 21, they went on a run. 22, they went on a run, obviously. And they ended up in the Super Bowl and the AFC Championship game most of those years. I got you. One second. Let me get these kids some candy. What's up, man? <laughs> You can take all the candy you want. <laughs> hey, I got you. Come on, let's stuff it. Oh. What's up? <laughs> what you Thank like? You. you want some more? Uh, yeah. I got you. <laughs> you want a little bit more? No. Nah, don't be shy, <laughs> <now. laughs> Of course, y'all have a good day. Yep. <clears throat> Let me sit this outside. It'd be cold in Germany, right? I think it's pretty cold. Never been to Germany. I don't know much about Germany. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do the, okay. Mm-hmm. That's for number one. Billionaire boys with the uh, Hellstar sweats. I just gotta make sure I'm dressed up real nice. Cause you know they don't they don't see us outside our helmet, so I mean when we can get dressed we try to do it. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the kith. Boom. A lot of people don't know about that kith. Put that kith on with the Gucci's. I'm gonna bring the Gucci's out. I'm gonna do the Palm Angels with the V long. That's a nice little comfy fit. I might have to put this on on the plane. Fit number three. For regular trip, I put a lot more jeans or something like that, but I know it's a longer trip. It's kind of more about being comfortable. Never been on a flight for eight hours. I ain't gonna lie about that. Nobody got these here for, for us, so I'm gonna break them out. I've been like knowing how to dress. Coming from like Philly, North Philly, kind of do the little fashion thing. And then when I finally was old enough to grow my hair out is when I kind of yeah, I said old enough to grow my hair out. <laughs> it's when I kind of took control and I also used to couldn't match. <laughs> I wouldn't tell nobody that, but I couldn't. Put some black pants on, cause you can't go wrong with the all black. Black and red, black. How should I come with the feet? Hmm. Can't go wrong with these. The Rickies. Rickies, you just can't go wrong with it. Look at these fits. And back and forth, man, back and forth. Probably gonna bring out the Nikes. Keep it calm. These are some old school things. I don't think I was even born yet. Can't never go wrong with the ice whites. If you don't got more than one pair of forces, you ain't living right. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a sneakerhead when it come to shoes. I just gotta have a couple options, you know what I'm saying? Boom. That's a fit. Woo! 
I'm gonna do that one. And then this is like a, am I going to do E60, play 60 right here? Or am I going, you know, to dinner? So, boom. One, two, three, four, five. And then, you know, sleep clothes come by itself. <laughs> Ain't nothing but up some shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to rock that. I haven't kept track of like week seven, week eight. I just been, you know, going along with the season. Uh, I feel like the more I think about season, the longer it'll seem for me. I'm basically more than halfway through a college football season. So this is about to be the longest season of my career, but I love football so much. I'm having so much fun with it. We got an eight hour flight to Germany, but I mean, the whole flight, I might not be able to sleep. You know, I'm ready for Sunday already. This is why my grandma taught me to pack. She was in the military. She was like, if you roll your clothes up, you know, it's easier to put your stuff away. First, I didn't really understand it, but I guess it works. I'll be trying to show my girl how to do it. Now, big jackets like this, it's hard to do, but it can get done. Obviously, they're expecting us to show up and give them a show, and we're expecting to show up and give them a show as well. It's like a lunar eclipse. Like, you don't really see, you know, the lunar eclipse too much. It's going to be cool for us to be able to interact with those guys just because, I mean, who, who knows when they'll be able to see us again and who knows when we'll be able to see them again. Rasheed Rice certainly is treading in the direction of being the most promising draft prospect that the Chiefs have had in a very long time. He looks like that guy. I would say the biggest adjustment for me, it would be getting my body and my legs in shape. Coach Reed calls us the runners, so we got to be out there. We got to be ready to run. And, you know, the more you're in shape, the better it's going to be for the full offense. And obviously the better it's going to be because you'll be able to, you know, break down the defender the whole game. The one thing I could take away from learning the offense was to learn the concept and not learn, you know, a specific position. Good. Go, four. Go get it. Nice. I told you he's a shallow card. I know. Too. He's Juju. For offensive players, you know, when we're in certain routes and stuff like that, we know that with our quarterback, Pat, we got to be at a certain landmark in a certain spot, you know, at a certain time, just so that the whole play can execute. Third down and goal here. If one man's not doing their job, then the whole play, you know, is going to be ruined. Mahomes out, throws it left, touchdown! Kansas City, Rashi Rice with the touchdown! I'm just running as hard as I can north and south, and as far as, you know, just having a ball in my hand, there's nothing good going on inside and farther away from the sideline, so I'm not gonna run into any big defenders inside of there. He can be a very dangerous weapon, so good after catch with getting downfield quickly. Hey, Mom. I take full pride in having the ball in my hand. I know that I'll be able to have an impact on, you know, the drive, the team, anything, you know, any kind of play that I get going can get the whole offense going. If there's a defender in front of me, I feel like it's just another man. And we're both in pads. I don't know what college he went to, and he don't know what college I went to, but I play for the Kansas City Chiefs, so I'm running through somebody face if I can. <laughs> Rice has it, has the linebacker 40, 35, 30 up the sideline, oh. Rushy Rice looking for somebody to run over. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's a football move right here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. ran over. At the 50, all the way down to the 40 four. yard line. Time me up, four. Time me up, four. Rush to the outside. Pass. Caught on a slam. Touchdown. Kansas City. Rushy Rice. We're going to Frankfurt next. Chiefs, Dolphins, oh baby. So international games present unique challenges. Most importantly, the, the passports, flying everyone, 210 people internationally, uh, making sure everyone has a passport that's up to date, visas for some players that aren't American citizens. You think about moving players and coaches. Now think about moving all the equipment every single piece of equipment we would travel with. You need to know the serial number, the value, the origin of country it was made in. 
You're truly moving a small city for a weekend? It's a game that we have to get ready for in a week's time, but behind the scenes, it's been longer. So for us, it's a little bit more cumbersome. You have to really make sure all the T's are crossed and I's are dotted for a trip like this. Are you excited to go to Germany? Yes, I am. I've never been out the country, so this will be my first time. I'm going to pack tonight. My wife's going to help me. Her mother came in town, my mother-in-law. Gonna help us with the kids, gonna help me get my suitcase packed. We've adapted the model from London that we took back in 2015 because we were very successful over there. The Chiefs not only win, they win convincingly, blowing out the Lions 45 to 10 in London. Our capital. I put a pencil to it. I think this is the sixth. I think we did Berlin in 90. We did Tokyo twice. Dog Mexico twice. Primarily, we've been through it enough that I feel like we got a pretty decent handle on it. But I don't think you ever really know for sure. It's a lot like when you go on vacation yourself, as just you and your family, you always feel like you're missing something. You know, the Dolphins are already heading there, are already there in Frankfurt. Yep. The Chiefs are not going to leave till Thursday afternoon as a team. Not surprising, Andy Reid sticking with the normal travel routine that they have typically. You know, we got a lot of good work in. I mean, staying here, sleeping in our own bed. We got to get sleep on the plane. That's obviously the key to this thing. We have our guys here with MRI and X-ray and hot tubs and cold tubs and the weight room and all that that we're used to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so we can get all of our work done. Same way with the coaches. The Dolphins, as we know this week, are leaving earlier and the Chiefs are leaving later. We shall see. We really appreciate having you on board today. For myself, the captain, all our fantastic crew. Good luck with your next games and go Chiefs. What we found through research is that there's not a whole lot you can do being acclimated to the time change unless you're like Jacksonville where you're there for two weeks. Us as coaches and players and equipment managers are all about routine and we just try to stay in a normal routine as much as possible no matter if it's in another country or another state or in another training camp. We get there Friday morning. It's already 10, 11 o'clock in the morning by the time we get to our hotel and get settled in. You want to keep the guys up till the normal bedtime there in Frankfurt. So we go right into meetings and have our normal Friday practice. Football, liebe Zuschauer. Die Vorfreude ist wirklich riesig. Die NFL-Fans in Deutschland und in der ganzen Welt fiebern dem ersten Frankfurt-Game entgegen. Es ist alles angerichtet für das Topspiel zwischen den Miami Dolphins und dem amtierenden Super Bowl-Champion Kansas City Chiefs mit Superstar Patrick Mahomes. So I'm happy to be here in Frankfurt. I just came back from the Chiefs facility, right. which is uh, located in downtown Frankfurt. And I took a photograph of the media throng that was allowed in to oh, wow. uh, record five <laughs> minutes wow. of the Chiefs practice. Five minutes. Peter King was standing there. He goes, this is double the media in Munich, correct? And I'm like, it is. Die NFL ist zu Gast in meiner Heimatstadt in Frankfurt. <laughs> zum zweiten Mal überhaupt erst in Deutschland. We want to try to win, but at the same time, we want to just enjoy this experience in Germany and bring NFL to Germany. And so these things fly by fast. I've always tried to enjoy every moment of my career. This will be one that I'll have for the rest of my life. I'm passionate about football. I've always said if we could figure out how to get all the countries to play, we wouldn't have wars. We'd just go play football. It'd be, it'd be a great place. There's been a lot of talk about us coming out here later and maybe not having that time to acclimate and everything. I'll be the one to say that we got a team that we're ready to roll anytime, anywhere. That's whether it's thing. in the parking lot, whether it's on some nice grass or a mud field, we don't care, man. It's all mental for us and we're ready to rock and roll. I was very fortunate early in my career to coach in NFL Europe. In 1998, I was with the Frankfurt Galaxy. 
I thought the people in Germany really embraced American football. I think our guys from here going over to play in this game will feel the same thing. Hey, do you know how to say fast in, in like German? Schnell. Schnell? Yeah. Schnell. <laughs> like a, a, a snail, but, yeah, they're, but, but snails are slow. <laughs> Schnell. I think the, the guys come away realizing that you know, people outside of the United States do enjoy what they do. Five hours of sleep on a plane, and here we are. When I first entered the league, and I did college football at the Division I level, and basketball, and baseball, I learned from people around the nation. And I asked people that I respected, what do they do? The color coding is on my own. I developed that, and I know now a lot of people that do what I do use the color coding system. It helps the brain be able to process it in a much quicker fashion. What's changed is, in some ways, information has become easier to gather electronically. In some ways, it's more difficult to find because it's hidden. I mean, you have to find it in drop downs, or it's not necessarily as prominent. You can get overwhelmed with analytics and statistics, but you try to, again, disseminate what's the most important thing and what's intriguing. Preparation for the game is all week long, but on game day, most of the homework is done, but you actually try to get yourself mentally and emotionally ready for the game. I think of 30 seasons, and everything that's happened. 20 seconds. The ups and downs. Challenges, tough times. Mitch Holtz is back at the new Arrowhead on military appreciation after that, and so far, no score. Keeping the pilot light lit when it was dark in the Chiefs Kingdom. He's ready for some Chiefs football this weekend. It's like my life flashes in front of my eyes before every game. The global bigger picture of this, from an NFL standpoint, is they continue to be a laboratory of what's this going to look like when this is a normal thing to do for every team every season. The bigger meaning for me personally is this is my ancestry. My great-grandfather on my paternal side was orphaned uh, 500 kilometers north of here and he uh, was an immigrant. He worked in Nemaha County, Nebraska near the Nebraska City, Auburn area to gain enough money to come back and get his wife. A lot of what I think I'm about and what I do or try to do was formed in the potting soil of what was part of family from my great-grandfather to my grandfather and grandmother to my dad and mom. But coming here to this wonderful country, I'm thankful in, in 30 years to be able to go places that growing up in Smith Center, Kansas, you wouldn't ne necessarily uh, travel to. I'm from Sugar Creek, Missouri. I mean, I didn't expect you know any of this. The things that I've got to do and be a part of, it's Pro Bowls, Super Bowls, all these international games. All of them I'm very proud to, to be a part of. You know, I've been to Ireland, I've been to Spain, I've been to Tokyo, I've been to Mexico City, London, and now Frankfurt. I gotta be honest with you, I wouldn't have gone any of those places probably if I had a regular job. I look at it as a great opportunity to have a job that I get to work internationally. I've seen three countries now, and I think that list will expand, and it's cool to see the passion and how football really unites the entire world. When you look at so much of the world that we live in now, not only in the States, but around the world, has been influenced by German people. 
I love it that the fact that our colors are the German flag. I think the German culture, they're a prosperous, hardworking, they work hard, but they play hard. And I think that's why there's a connectivity there because yes, we have superstars like Pat Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, but they're so humble and hardworking, it affects our whole team. Guten Tag, oder guten Morgen. Astenwald Stadion in Frankfurt, Deutschland. It's the Dolphins and the Chiefs. This has been an outstanding trip, Mitch. I can't wait to get this game going. This is an opportunity for us to right the ship, get back on the right trail from last week's debacle up in Denver. The German people love American football. It's amazing how knowledgeable they are. The podcasts that you and I have done, they know they're American football here. Global. This offense that we will be facing today, they are one of the fastest, if not the fastest, offenses and have the arsenal that no other team has in the NFL. Come on, you know the feeling, dog. We take care of business, man. Sure. T's on two, baby. You gotta love it. One, two, T's. T's. Love it, baby, for each other. Let's go. Field 100 yards long, right? Field 53 yards wide, right? It's the same game, it don't matter where we line up. We can line up in the Burger King parking lot. Let's we run it, they stick it. But throw it, we pick it. season game in Frankfurt, Germany between two terrific teams. A play action fake on first down and a throwback left side caught. Feldes Scantling. Mahomes takes the shotgun snap. They blitz him to his left. Mahomes. Caught. Noah Bray inside the 15. Right, they're moving in two weeks. Mahomes quick throw. That's Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice. They get it off to Rashi Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. And another receiver coming through. Rashi Rice, one of the best in the game this early in his career at getting north-south with the ball. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Right there. That's the way to go. Nice job, man. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Keep rolling, man. They came out. They came out and jumped on these dolphins. Hey, like so now let's see what the guy who leads the league in passing yards and touchdowns can do. A remarkable first eight games of the season for Tua Tungo Bailoa. Tyree Kill out there against his former mates. They better not put you on me, Tyree! They better not put you on me, Tyree! You better not. You better not come this way, Tyree. All right, so it's third and nine. Chris Jones trying to smell blood in the water to get into his face and disrupt. Now Tonga Bailoa, Mostert to his left. Going to throw the football, he is sacked. He is absolutely swallowed up. Three different Chiefs got there. A quarter blitz by Jalen Watson. Steve Spagnuolo is so good at drawing up those third down pressures and finding ways to get guys coming scot-free. Now orbit motion out of a three-back look, and a pass to the near side is incomplete, and a thumping hit made by Justin Reed. Either they're going to sprint, or they're going to boost. Run pass. Not in luck. Sneed is locked down. Sneed is pressing. Chiefs stopping the Dolphins on four straight drives. Kansas City, the touchdown to open the game on a 75-yard drive. Kadarius Tony with the catch, spins off a hit, stays on his feet, across midfield, drives the Dolphin to the 46-yard line of Miami. Mahomes with the edges, rushing around and finds McKinnon. Jared McKinnon. McKinnon, the J! 
Jack Fight! Touchdown! Kansas City! The Jet has flown all the way across the Atlantic and into the end zone. A 17-yard route out of the backfield by Jarek McKinnon. That'd be a wide open. Wide open. Good job again, man. Good job again. Good job again. So, look, Miami wins the toss, they defer. Kansas City gets the ball, they score. They just scored again, which makes this crucial because Miami gets the ball after halftime as well. They can use this juncture to get back in it fast. They're coming hard. Coming hard. Hey. Second and seven for the Dolphins at the Kansas City 30. Chiefs lead 14 to nothing. They'll throw it in the near side. Tyreek Hill hit right in the stomach. Fumbles the ball. Picked up by Kansas City. Tyreek Hill with the catch and a fumble recovery up the sideline. Here comes Brian Cook. 10, 5, touchdown. Kansas City. They pitch it over to Cook from Edwards. It's a 67 yard fumble return for a touchdown. Trent McDuffie begets Mike Edwards, who begets Brian Cook, and the Chiefs get a 21 to nothing lead on a 62 yard fumble recovery on a hit on Tyreek Hill at 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was some real science. Yeah. Come on. Man, I ain't never been on nobody's team. On, man. You got the most most people I ever seen, boy. God. Who stripped him? Uh, Trent hit him and then stripped him. And then Mike picked it up and then Mike lateraled it. The fact that we lateral in NFL football games in the middle of random plays is wild. Mike lateraled it and then got a block. And then Brian picked up. That man's knees were in the second deck. <laughs> Boy, there is a major buzz in this stadium right now. And it sounds like Arrowhead in Frankfurt. I like the I like the way the German fans were. Right? So for Miami, Danan. Five punts and a fumble in the first half, but since then a punt, touchdown, short field touchdown, and the Dolphins have the ball and a chance to tie the game. It's only 59 total yards for the Chiefs this half, and you have to take a look at the clock. And the Chiefs hanging on to a 21 to 14 lead that they led by 21 nil at halftime. Gonna be in a two minute to win it now. Gonna be in a two minute to win it. We're gonna be in a two minute to win it. Chiefs will have to punt the ball at 2.36 remaining in the game. I'll let y'all know. I need you right here. I need you. I'll let you know. Tonga Vailoa again with a spread set. Chiefs are coming with pressure. A pass floated wide open, underthrown. Underthrown. It was looking. That might have been tipped. And the Chiefs now can't defending fourth and 10 from their own 31. Fourth and ten, Tua Tungabailoa at the Kansas City 31-yard line. Now a bad snap, and they jump on the football! The Dolphins jump on it, but the Chiefs are going to win this game! Brian Cook on a blitz, forcing a bad snap! And the Kansas City Chiefs, a big-time defensive victory. 21 to 14, Kansas City with the win here in Frankfurt, Germany. Great job. It, I mean, it's an honor to coach in the same field as me, so I appreciate it. Uh, your <laughs> 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 I'm so happy to see you back out, still in the bro. Thank, Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Much love to you, bro. Hey, much love and respect. Hope All right, bro. To see you guys. Oh, we win. Stay. We will. This kingdom, appreciate y'all. Germany with the mate that came out with the dub. Let's go. Yeah.
Hell yeah, dog! Yeah. That's how you play! Let's go! Let's go! Jesus. That's how you play! That's how you play! Let's go! 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 Let's go!